My sons hear me talk constantly about Rastafari. And my oldest boy today in the car ride home, he asked me, what is Rastafari? And I told him, there are as many different answers for that as there are Rasta people. That every Rasta person he asks this is going to say something different. So I told him my answer. I said that Rastafari is the answer to the evil system of racial supremacist, colonial, imperialistic, genocide, and murder regimes that have been dominating this world for the past 500 years or a thousand years or longer, depending on who you talk to. And in being the reaction to that system, which is the devil's system, also known as Babylon, in reacting to that system, Rastafari is the opposite of that system. So what is the opposite of a racial supremacist, colonial, imperialistic, genocidal murder system? The opposite is a system that puts forth the best of all colors, classes, and creeds, that does away with discrimination between human beings, that does so with liberation, freedom, good moral conduct, self-determination for individuals and families and nations without murder or killing anybody, not putting forth any genocidal solutions. So that's what Rastafari is. It's the system of doing away with discrimination, doing away with domination, doing away with murder and war. It's a new global paradigm of consciousness and understanding and peace. And within this global Rastafari nation, there are many different peoples. There are many different peoples who have different forms of government, different forms of religion or faith, different ways of dress and ways of conduct that all call themselves Rastafari, that are all within the system, or even ones that don't call themselves Rastafari, but they follow these principles. And historically, they followed the man, Kidamawi Haile Selassie, who is Rastafari in his fullness of life. So for myself, as an Ethiopian Orthodox Tawahedo Christian, I don't see any conflict in my religious order and this Rastafari nationality or Rastafari philosophy because it is Jesus Christ who made this, who created this church, who created this man, who made Haile Selassie I his elect and king and sent him to do this work in history throughout all the earth. And it is this same Jesus Christos, our Lord, God, and Savior, who His Imperial Majesty, Kidamawi Haile Selassie, built thousands of churches, hundreds to thousands. It's disputable whether it's 1,500 or 2,100, but somewhere in there he built churches with his own money given to the worship of Jesus Christos in the ancient fashion of the Ethiopian Ethiopian Orthodox Tewahedo, Beta Christian, Haimanot. Excuse me. That's the Ethiopian Orthodox Tewahedo faith. So, that's my answer for what Rastafari is, and is Rastafari a religion, and is Rastafari God, and all this stuff. Is you need to look at the principle of the thing, and the actual order of what's happening on the earth in this time, and... The man who's in charge of that is a man called Rastafari or Kidamawi Haile Selassie I. And his religion is Orthodox Christianity. So it's Christ 
that built this house and sustains it. And it is a house for all people. So it's the fulfillment of this ancient religious tradition coming from Ethiopia for the world. The opposite, the resistance, the opposing force, the reaction to that racial supremacist, colonial, imperialistic, genocidal murder system that we've all seen on the earth. That's my piece about that. Sabat la'ab, sabat la'ab, sabat la'ab, sabat la'ab, that means sabat la'ab, glory to the Father, sabat la'ab, glory to the Son, sabat la'ab, glory to the Spirit of Holiness, one God, Amen.